Che. What's up, YouTube? Um. What's up, YouTube? I'm Shanar from Seven Tech Mate. Back again with another hopefully a useful video. Today we're gonna do something different. Instead of our review videos, we thought of giving you five useful tips that can save you and your wallet. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment, and share. It's a big help. Thank you. Is it good to restart your phone once or twice a week? Well, this is kind of a common question that everybody keeps asking. Is it really that good to restart your phone once or twice a week? Yep, it is. But why to restart your phone when everything is working perfectly? The answer is RAM, or we call it the random access memory. Think of RAM like a storage box. Every time you open up an app or do something, some amount of data is stored in this box to keep the app's data reserved so whenever you open the app again, it's ready to do the process, which will eventually fill up and this can cause the device to freeze or glitch or even maybe to heat up and drain the battery. So whenever you restart the phone, the RAM or we were talking about the box gets emptied up by putting all the apps to sleep or by closing it. So random bits of data doesn't start piling up here and there. So yeah, make sure to restart your phone once or twice a week. Now this can be a serious question. Should I charge my phone overnight? Every original charger has inbuilt controllers to stop the battery from taking more current than what's necessary. So there is absolutely no risk overcharging the battery or leaving it overnight. But however, this doesn't mean that you can consistently keep your phone charging. You need to let the battery work on its own too. That's why you should try to charge it between 15% to 8% to extend the life of your phone's battery. And also stay away from buying cheap chargers or wall adapters because they might not have any inbuilt properly working controllers or capacitors that can store accurate current and control it when it receives a signal from the battery terminal or safe circuit once it's fully charged. So this can damage your device inbuilt components such as the charging port, the motherboard or the battery can end up with fire as well. So I recommend you stick with the genuine product because it has all the right components as well as well-built controllers to stop the current when it receives the signal from the battery circuit when it's fully charged. So yeah, charging it overnight through the original charger, it's not an issue. Well, did you know that it's not good to use your phone while it's charging? Remember we talked about the non-original chargers? Well, a non-original charger has unstable current and voltages which could be incompatible with the phone charging protocol and generate extra heat. But anyhow, using your phone while it's charging, most of the power goes to the screen and CPU instead of the battery, which means it will take long hours to charge your phone than its usual. Running some high power consuming apps during charging such as playing games, or watching videos will consume lots of power, causing every component to generate heat and fry all the inbuilt components. Maybe it won't happen at once, but for the safety side, leave your phone while it's charging. Now we have been talking about non-original chargers and stuff, but do we know how to identify an original from a fake? Step 1. Branding and text on the adapter. Look at the adapter to see if there is any CE certification mark which is the European law for product safety and standards. Most third party manufacturers doesn't have these proper facilities to stamp such mark or the verified certification. Even when they have marked CE, it will look faded or wonky. Step 2. Materials. A fake charger or an adapter is built using cheaper materials so that it can be affordable. But electrical currents will overload without the right components built into the plug. There is an increased risk of fire, electrical shock or an overloaded phone battery. Step 3. Check the weight. The weight of a fake is less than the original because with the genuine product all the right components has been used. So it's much heavier than the fake. Whether it's solid metal to thick plastic, it all adds to the weight. So yeah, make sure you check all these before buying. 
Did you know that it's a must to drain your phone's battery? Yes, it is very necessary to drain the battery to 0% in every 2 or 3 months to get rid of the extremes of fully charged and discharged cycles. So once it's totally off, charge it to all the way to 100%. This prevents battery drains and overheatings as well. And like we told earlier, charge it between 15% to 80% to extend the life of your phone's battery. And once a week, charge it to 100%. And leave your phone while it's charging. I hope this information was useful to all of you. Or maybe most of you. Yeah. So, also guys, stay indoor, stay safe. Obey the rules because it's for your own good. Uh, enjoy with your family. Take care of each other. Yeah. See you on the next one.